that sucked, right, guys. So that was pretty shitty. As you can see, I'm in my gear still. I uh, got a flat about 15 minutes into my ride. So even though it's a beautiful day out, I only have one tube left. I have no spares left, and my last tube is going in that tire. I've gotten three flats the past couple of days. So I'm not going to go out there and risk not having a spare tube and being stranded. So I have a different plan today. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again with another voiceover. Sexy voice, sexy shorts. Look at those shorts. Well, you gotta wear something when you spin, right? I was just too lazy to take them off and I don't even think I had another pair of shorts, so no one in the gym, I don't really care. Anyways, this is uh, 185, working up to um, 235 pounds uh, added. I believe it was 10 pounds this week, which is pretty. Uh, I'm, sl I'm I'm working my way up with squats um, pretty gradually. So this was 225 right here, and I just work up for five reps and then hit 235 for my top set. Uh, I do have a race this weekend, so I did want to keep them nice and um, I don't really want to use the word light. Uh, they didn't really feel light as painful as that is for me to say. Um, anyways, I wanted to keep it pretty uh, moderate and not overdo it with, I'd normally do like a three by five setup. So this is my top set right here for two, uh, 235, um, back folded up a little bit. Uh, but I was happy to be able to at least uh, get the weight up and get a PR today. Um, <clears throat> so I got five reps to 235 here and then moved on after that. You can see there, my upper back always rounds when it comes to high bar squatting. I considered low bar for a while, but um, didn't do it. Didn't feel like it was uh, my my thing. So moved on after that. And then moved on to narrow leg presses. Uh, I always do these narrow. I always want to do constant tension with these. Always take my knees to the chest or as close to my chest as possible. And then I actually do like a calf press with this after. Uh, burns out my legs pretty well and um, yeah usually I don't lock out either but I did this time so but, I mean that's what I do so found that it works best for me and I get the most out of my quote unquote leg days with that so um, I highly suggest doing that if you are familiar with it really great way to stimulate the calves and the glutes I, my glutes always get hit pretty hard after I do leg presses like these, some jackass, um, easy, <laughs> the wrong, uh, wrong motion there, try not to laugh when you see him next to me, but throwing in hamstring curls right here, um, I haven't really done these before, and I'm going to start throwing these in my routine, um, now, just to bring up my, my hamstrings, I feel like my hamstrings are pretty weak, so, I'm going to be working with those for now. And I did some bro curls today. Um, these are actually new curl variation I started doing. That slow mo though, right there. Boom. That slow mo right there. No, but really though, I feel like these are. Um, I never really have done hammer curls either, but I always have tried to do them as strict as possible. So I just did this to get, quote unquote, the burn. So here's some fail curls for you guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I did today, so stay tuned for the rest of the video, and hope you enjoy.
Alright, what is up everybody? I feel like you guys... It is 420 right now. Crazy. Uh, just picked up some uh, supplements. Now, I know what you're going to be thinking. Everybody watching this, seeing me buy branched chain amino acids. Um, I, in the past, have been a huge advocate against not taking branched chains. Um, if you're getting enough whole foods in your diet. Um, but at the same time, uh, athletes like myself are very different from the average gym goers that just go to the gym and train for 45 minutes that are on starting strength and really uh, that's pretty much their activity for the day. Um, I am a cyclist, um, you know, we are, you know, it's, it's, it's a different story. I won't go into the specifics right now. So if you feel like you want to disagree with me, go ahead, um, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I haven't invested in a branch chain supplement in probably about a year year and a half so this is the first one and um, the last one I did have was from USP Labs. so shout out to you guys they make amazing stuff it was between this or Salvation's Extend which I'm a huge fan of as well um, this is the great bubblegum flavor so popping this open right now it's 20 it was $29.99 for camera burn this is gonna be great for me to take on rides and then you know after uh, after cardio sessions and during cardio sessions, you know the whole deal. So let's try this for you guys. Once again, USP Labs, branch chain. Um, I was thinking about getting a glutamine supplement as well, but it's already got some glutamine in there. Uh, and I picked up some of my favorite multivitamin, orange triad, triad. So give it a shot if you guys haven't already. It's down the hatch. Woo! Lord, that's good. All right, guys, so I'm going to start here. Uh, this is the Trader Joe's. Uh, I know everyone's big fans of Trader Joe's right now. I like Trader Joe's, but I'm going to get a few things there. Um, I get their um, cookie butter on occasion, and I'm trying this. My girlfriend loves gnocchi, and I'm making dinner for us tonight, so I figured I'd get the sweet potato gnocchi. Um, really, macros are pretty horrible on um, anything that has to do with pasta, and I'm not like a huge pasta gnocchi fan or whatever. Um, I really don't even think gnocchi is pasta my personal opinion it's just potatoes but um a sweet potato nugget anyways um my favorite thing right now is the white cheddar popcorn the stuff is amazing macros are actually really pretty good on it too um so 15 carbs 28 grams it's pretty typical in my opinion um not a huge cheese fan at all and i hate brie but i figured i'd pick this up for her she likes cheese now for dinner tonight i'm gonna be doing turkey burgers um and chicken burgers as well so I got this ground chicken up here, right here. I've never had ground chicken in my life, so looking forward to that. And then uh, I'm gonna do obviously turkey as well. Um, and then we got some rolls right here. Um, I'm a huge pretzel roll fan, so I got that. And then um, I have a garlic cheese roll for her. And then an, whoever wants that, uh, I think it's a, like a whole wheat Kaiser roll. Some Bisquick. I like to have my protein pancakes as well. Then we're gonna do salad tonight. I'm doing everything homemade, so I figured I'd try this Greek yogurt dressing out. Um, it's pretty solid macros on that too. So um, I'd be, I, I've been eating, um, not recently, but the Old House Farms brand as well. They make really good ranch and Caesar dressing, so if you guys haven't heard of that, go check it out. Um, obviously cheese and garlic as well. Moving on to one of my favorites is Diet a w Root Beer. I've been drinking soda recently. Um, never really have before, but you know, I don't know. I've been craving it recently. Another one of my favorites, Powerade Zero. And these just came out. I saw an ad or an ad and then something on TV for them, so I figured I'd try them out as well. Um, just for kicks. I mean, this isn't filling at all. If you, I mean, I don't think this would fill up an eight year old kid, but you know, I figured I'd try it. So, um, last but not least, we have apples. I'll take these to work. Uh, some light mayo. Um, oddly enough, I like to put this on uh, rice cakes, it's actually really good. And then I put this in my coffee, just fat free milk, chocolate, cocoa mix, uh, staple in my diet, oatmeal, and then some liquid sweetener. And then we got the best peanut butter right now, uh, Justin. So that's what I'm rolling with right now, guys. Stay tuned for dinner.